of the Public Facilities Commission meeting dealing with the Department of Neighborhood Development. Thank you. Good morning, Commissioners. Before us today is the Department of Neighborhood Development. There is one vote request. The vote request is being presented by Bernard Mayo. He's a project manager with the Real Estate Management and <coughs> Sales Division of the Department of Neighborhood Development. This vote request concerns a tentative developer designation and intent to sell to Dudley Economic Empowerment Partners, Inc. This is vacant land located at 24 Troll Street in Dorchester. The purchase price is offered at $100. Bernard, if you'd present your vote request, please. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. Um, I'm, I'm seeking PFC approval for the tentative designation of Deadly, <coughs> Deadly Economic Empowerment Partners, or DEEP, for the land at 24 Troll Street in Dorchester. The parcel is approximately 5,550 square feet and will be used to create one affordable single family home which will be sold into a first-time home buyer. Um, d and conducted an extensive public process which resulted in this vote request. Community meeting was held back in November of 2017 to discuss the development of the parcel. The RFP was issued January 29, 2018 and advertised in the Central Register on January 31st and then the Boston Herald on the January 29th and February 5th of 2019, 2018. DEEP was the only developer to apply for the RFP and they satisfied our eligibility criteria. On May 23rd, 2018, we held another community meeting to allow DEEP to present their proposal to the community. Based on the community feedback and our review of the proposal, we wish to recommend the tentative designation of Deadly Economic Empowerment Partners. Uh, I've also included a few handouts. Here's the um, site map. Uh, the aerial map of the site. Uh, there's a recent photo. And some of the drawings. If this vote is approved, it will result in the following benefits. Uh, Affordable home, home ownership opportunity for a first time home buyer. Revitalization of a lot that had been vacant for 33 years. The project will create approximately 2,064 construction hours, which will generate jobs in the building trades. And by using Youth Build Boston as a contractor, the project will provide on the job construction training to Boston area youth. Once the project is complete and sold to a buyer, the city can expect approximately 3,000. $681 in annual tax revenue. Any questions? Um, any, any commissioners' questions? Um, one question that legal has raised for us, Bernard, is that this went out to bid in 2017 and two proposals were received, but neither one was accepted or deemed advantageous by D&D. &D. Yeah. Can you explain why that, were, that was the case? The, um, they, they, they both were too dense. The community wanted, th there's a, um, the community wanted something compatible with the, the structure that's already there, which had burned down years ago. And um, they both, they both um, wanted to do multi-units, multi like two to four units, and it wasn't acceptable. Okay. Any other questions? No. Okay. Thank you. Make a motion that we approve. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank you. Vote number one is approved. Is there a motion to adjourn this portion of the meeting? Make a motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank you. This meeting, this portion of the meeting is adjourned until the next portion. <coughs>